Pigeon. Well, honored to welcome to our uh, focal point studio here at American Family Association, good friend of mine, good friend of this program, Merle Temple. Merle is an author. Welcome back, Merle, oh, to focal point. Great to be here. Well, Merle, you've been with us before. You sure. are an author, and uh, you're here in connection with uh, a new book coming out. All right. Uh, the Redeem, the uh, third book in my trilogy, is finally done. The trilogy is finally done. We just got back from uh, two weeks in Florida, uh, from Pensacola to Panama City, speaking and signing books. Uh, we spoke, uh, say hi to all my friends down at Miramar Beach uh, at uh, Faith Assembly Christian Church. I spoke down there. and Largest crowd they'd ever had. Had to seat people in the aisles. Uh, wow. Holy Spirit showed up. And made me more than I am. And, you know, I'm not sure, Brian, but I thought on the radio I heard coming in that you and I got two votes in one of those midnight votes in New Hampshire. Well, you, yeah. It wouldn't yeah. surprise me if they voted for you. <laughs> no, you president, me for vice president. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We'd make a good ticket. So, uh, well, you know, I'm looking at the uh, the jacket cover here, Merle. The title of the book is The Redeemed. Tell folks where they can pick up a copy of this. Well, we hope tomorrow, we officially launch tomorrow down at Reed's Gum Tree Bookstore here in Tupelo from 11 to 5, but uh, they'll be up soon on Amazon and Barnes & Noble and other outlets soon, and uh, uh, this is a timely, the whole trilogy is timely for people who want to know, see an inside look at how government and the world really works, because uh, these are written as fiction, but they're drawn from my life, and uh you know, a lot of insider stories all the way from uh, government and corruption here in Mississippi, all the way uh, to Congress and the White House. So Merle, Merle Temple is uh, the author's name. Temple, like uh, like the temple. Name of the book is The Redeemed Part of a Trilogy. Third uh, in the trilogy, the title, the subtitle of this book is A Leap of Faith. So Merle, tell us just a little bit. We've got a few minutes left here. Tell us just a little bit about how your own background kind of provided some of the color and backstory for this book. Well, uh, I promised God early on that I would write three books to tell my story and his story of second chances and redemption. And uh, we stuck to that, uh, uh, tried to honor him and uh, and be honor the people that I've known in my life that I was writing fictionally about. Beginning in the first book, A Ghostly Shade of Pale, which is now Barnes & Noble's all-time best-selling novel here in Tupelo, in their Tupelo store, and used in many schools and required reading for English students at ICC, the community college here. Uh, starts with uh, Michael Parker. This is the Michael Parker trilogy based on me leaving Ole Miss in the early 70s uh, in the first drug wars and uh, finds out things are just qu not quite like he thought they were. You know, a nice, neat world. It wasn't at all. You know, it was hard to identify the players and uh, a lot of treachery, a lot of corruption, uh, many times Michael is almost killed as I was, uh, and, uh, he, um, uh, always is being pursued by the hound of heaven, mm. you know, didn't quite understand it. Nominal Christian uh, ran from him, but always the hound of heaven, uh, and that famous poem always behind those footsteps, always mm. following, following after, and, uh, had his life saved many times It then goes into the corporate world when corrupt politicians come after him in the drug enforcement world and finds out that there's an unholy trinity of politics, crime, and business, uh, which is alive and well there, and that the political criminals he encounters are far more dangerous than organized crime people <laughs> who tried to kill him because they can bring the full power of government against you. And so it takes people through that, and we're trying to warn people, this is our ministry, what a dark and dangerous world this is and how they, they break and crush anybody in their way. Uh, a great uh, story about a reformer a congressman who uh, uh, a breakdown and show Michael's over here is the whip, the deputy whip in Washington breaking him mm -hmm. and saying, you know, you're going to be that number 218 vote when we need you mm -hmm. or we'll run you out of town. And uh, so we, we get cards and letters from people all the time about the first two books and and the reviews are great on book three, The Redeemed. Uh, and uh, people say that the books have changed their lives. It came to them at a hard time. And a lot of the reviewers said they had to get their Kleenex out. A lot of <laughs> tears were shed, especially yeah. on The Redeemed. And so we're blessed. So Merle, Merle Temple is my guest. The title of the book is The Redeemed. It's the third in a trilogy. And uh, so Merle, you're telling us, you know, your background feeds into this. So there's an authenticity to it. These are page turners. There are plots here. There's action. There's suspense. 
But also got about 60 seconds. I think readers will also find these books, as well as being entertaining and gripping from a literary standpoint, also find them friendly to values of faith and the values that, that we cherish together. They'll find this to be a friendly book on those areas. Or, or uh, very definitely, and I don't think NASA will be stocking my book because <laughs> it has Jesus in it a lot. <laughs> and uh, But on the flip side, on the secular side, you know, we just got a, a comment from Jim Clementi in, in Hollywood at Criminal Minds, uh, and he uh, re- did a nice review and said that I bled all over, all over the pages of my books, and they're still uh, trying to find buyers for, to tell our story in a TV series. And wouldn't that be uh, a victory in this day and age uh, to have a, a series where the character is a Christian? Hmm. The name of the book is The Redeemed. And tell us again, you will be at Reeds in Tupelo. For those that are in our listening audience here in Northeast Mississippi, you like to meet Merle, get a signed copy of the book. They could do it tomorrow at? I'll be at Reeds Gumtree Bookstore downtown in Tupelo from 11 to 5. So uh, don't let these few scattered snowflakes deter you. They're gone. It'll be sunny tomorrow. Come out and see us. Get the copy of the book, The Redeemed, A Leap of Faith. New book by Merle Temple, good friend of this program. I think you'll enjoy the book and find it not only interesting, intriguing. It's a page-turner, conspiracy, plot, action, as well as something very friendly toward the values that we share in common. Well, thank you, Merle, for being with us. God bless you, Mm -hmm. and God's best to you in the new book. Thank you, Brian. Focal Point American Family Radio, we will be right back with your phone calls. Stay with us, 888-589-8840-888-589-8840. Be right back. Providing God-honoring economic news and encouragement, Dan Seeley.